previously on Bioshock. That's it, kid. It's been a long road. You don't even remember most of it. Put you on a sub when you were just a sprout. <laughs> I really wound you up with that wife and child bit. Oh, me poor Moira. I me wee baby Patrick. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll get me a real family. They play well with the suckers. Look at them. Even though they are physically free of the need to gather, Su Chung's mental conditioning still holds them to their terrible task. For sins such as this, they can never atone. Hurry! Hurry, Mr. Bubbles! Don't know what I was thinking. Never spliced up once the whole time I was down here in this aquarium. Figured it was bad to mix business with pleasure, but... Woo! Forget all the nose candy and floor polish I've been wasting time with. This stuff is the mother's milk! Better for the girl to be with you. Better with you than alone. Alone in the crawling darkness. Ha! That might be plenty for the work of scrubs and the pencil pushes. But I need more. More! I want a splice! And I'll bring nothing left to splice with! There. You must use the needle of the little sister to drain Fontaine of his Adam. It is the only way to defeat him. And now... On Bioshock. Hey there, Son here, and welcome back to Let's Play Bioshock. Last time we uh, did the Big Daddy routine and escorted a little sister all the way here to Fontaine. I'm not sure why we had to, why she had to stop and just drain corpses of Adam, but. Uh, we need to visit the Gatherer's Garden. But in the end, our choices make up. That is somewhere around here. Oh, there it is. We need to get the health upgrade. And for some reason, um, I guess it's because I bought a level 3 plasma and we can't get the EVE upgrade, but that's okay. We don't really need it. The final boss, it's not important. But what we need to do is we need to organize our stuff and sport boost. Now, combat, we need. Alright. Time to finally beat some sense into Fontaine. Yeah, we already got the little harvester tool, so. I remember when me and the crowd put you in that sub. You were no more than two. You were my ace in the hole. But you were also the closest thing I ever had to a son. And that's why this hurts. Betrayal, kid. Life ain't strictly business. <laughs> Uh, you should have thought about that before you mind-controlled me. Because now, it's personal. You are now unable to save the game and there are no vital chambers nearby. If you die, you must continue from saved progress. That's fine. It's the final boss. We don't... We don't have to worry about it. Let's see... First... First things first... Get out the shotgun. We're gonna need it. Ah, uh, there's Fontaine right up there. Oh dear! Come here, Fontaine. Go, go now! Hit him with the needle. All right, all right, all right. 
Ow. Oh, you want some? If I could select Winter Blast, that would be good. A lot of people say, uh... Atlas here, or I guess Fontaine, looks like uh, the statue of Atlas from Greek mythology. I don't know if that's the case. I suppose it depends more on your which which statue of Atlas you look at. Ow. You also got Houdini Spicer. Oh, no you're not. Yeah, he's also got Houdini Spicer powers. Thank you, Tenenbaum. I already know that. Okay, now he's got ice. And I got first aid kits. Let's see. There we go, this will work. Is it gone now? Okay, great. Ow. Okay. If you don't mind, I think I'm gonna use this. Not that, uh... People, really? Where are you? Okay. You think it'll be daddy's? Of course not. That's funny, I'm not the one that keeps getting frozen. special. I'm not finished. No, but you're pretty darn close. You're through, Fontaine. I called you back, showed you what you was, what you was capable of. Even that life you thought you had, that was something I dreamed up. And I tattooed inside your head. Now, if you don't call that family, I know what is.
They offered you this city. And you refused it. And what did you do instead? What I've come to expect of you. You saved them. You gave them the one thing that was stolen from them. A chance. A chance to learn. To find love. To live. And in the end, what was your reward? You never said. But I think I know. A family. So, yeah, there's the ending. Uh, little sisters all grew up, got educations, got married, had children, and Jack wound up dying of old age, probably in 10 years or so, considered his accelerated aging rate. But, uh, let's take a look at the credits. Basically, Kim Levine here, or Levine, I don't know. This whole game was basically, you know, to teach you that you really don't have any control in, uh, in a video game. That's basically what the whole would you kindly was and the mind control bit and it was basically to teach you that you really don't have a choice as to where you go in a game. You follow the story, pretty much. And that's that's what he's I guess for lack of a better term, lampshading in the game. But he made a heck of a good story out of it. Uh there's a number of people I wanna thank that have been uh promoting me, so to speak, uh, on uh, on Twitter. Got the, uh, I want to thank the Square Roots Podcast. Square Roots Podcast. Uh, Disciples of Gaming. I'll have their Twitter handles up on the screen somewhere. Um, Mr. Onizuka. And uh, Wally, Temple of Retro. Yeah, Wally. Thanks, guys. You, you, you can't tell you how much I appreciate the retweets and stuff. It's, it's amazing. It's great of you. So, um, there's not really a whole big speech I can really give about this game I mean you pretty much you saw it first hand it's it was like voted best first person shooter of the year or something at least according to game pro is the best single player shooter I'm not I don't know if it got game of the year but I mean it was pretty good If you believe what the back of the Bioshock 2 box tells you, it did hit Game of the Year. But I can't confirm it since I got a collection pack. 2K Essentials collection. But it pro I probably got Game of the Year. This was a pretty good game. Somewhere in there was the... Uh, I don't know if we missed it, but there was voice actors... And uh, Greg Baldwin, I believe, was the voice of Frank Fontaine. And there was another guy that did the, vo did the voice of Atlas, which I mentioned before in, in an earlier episode, but I don't quite remember his name. Additional character models and textures by Eye Candy Studios. Of course, the animators at Red Eye Studios in Illinois. Music by Gary Scheinman, who's very good. He's very, very good. I believe they brought him back 
for at least Bioshock 2. He might be in Bioshock Infinite. I, I don't know. Offhand. It's been a while since I played it. Oh, here we go. Greg Baldwin. There's, uh, yeah, there's, there's Frank Fontaine. Uh, Armin Shimmerman. That would be Andrew Ryan. If you saw Adam Seitz, that was the voice of Jack. Jack Ryan. I think, I think it's pretty safe to, uh, I think it's pretty safe to, to say that Jack was was Andrew and uh, was Andrew Ryan and Jasmine Jolene's child, who Jasmine Jolene then sold to, well, sold the egg to Fontaine and Tenenbaum and Su Chong and all them, and they made Jack and our favorite little test tube baby, and then Su Chong and all them put the mental conditioning plasmid inside of him so that he'll do whatever they wanted him to do. To my father for his design expertise, the Bioshock logo would not be what it is without you. Oh, that's nice. I don't know what game I'm going to do next. Um, also don't know if it's going to be horror related. It might be. I don't know. Uh... But until then, please, join me for the next game. This is Sun, signing off.